Hi, my name's Sarah Anderson and I'm part of the Bible Art Journaling UK team who brings you these monthly videos. Lisa, who set up the YouTube channel, is keen on us keeping it real. And real in my life lately has been very little, if any, journaling in my Bible. But one of the things I have been doing instead is scripture writing. Just like with my crafts, I go through phases of things I like to do. I love sewing and crochet, but I've not done them for a while. It doesn't mean I won't, it's just how it is at the minute. And so similarly, I'm currently enjoying this different approach to Bible journaling. I started this in January 2017 um, and maintained it for about three months. But I came back to it this summer. Part of what motivates me is the feel of this notebook in my hand. Uh, I just adore this passport sized Midori um, traveller's notebook. The feel of the leather, um, the chunkiness of it. So it's a real pleasure to get it out and, and write. And then there's the benefit of writing out a scripture every day. And that leaves it in my head then to ponder. So um, I'm currently following Messy Faith scripture writing programme which I copy out when they're released into the front of this diary and then I can just refer to that each morning or whenever I get to do it. Um, we're looking at Proverbs this month. I have in the past used Sarah Haggerty Writes and they were themed um, by weeks. So I would write that theme out at the bottom of my page uh, linked, linked in there. I decorate my pages with snippets of paper, bits of washi tape, and that's what I want to share with you today. There's lots and lots of different papers you can use in your, in your little book. This type of pattern it comes from the inside of envelopes, and once you start looking inside envelopes, you'll have a big collection because there's some great patterns in there. Paper from exercise books, graph paper, coloured paper that um, I've coloured myself and there's so many ways you can do that. I'm going to show you using my jelly plate but there's distress inks, there's um, paint, there's stamping. I even use bits of when I've been making my cards I'll, I'll tear up leftover bits from the paper that was underneath my card making. So there's just tons of ways you can do it. I also cut up old unloved um, little prayer books or tiny testaments that are in old-fashioned language but there's often little tiny words you can pick out from there or tear pages from. I love numbers so books that feature numbers are often torn up and tiny bits of music. So I'm going to show you how I make my coloured paper. What I love about my jelly plate is that adding paint and smooching it around and making patterns it's just so good for my well-being. I find it very relaxing. Um, I can feel the stress just going really because I always just play. And once you've got going with this, it's just about playing and having a good time and just seeing what happens really. If you've not got a, an end point, you're more likely to like what you've got. So I've just put a bit of paint on there, two or three pea-sized pieces, and I've just rolled it out with my brayer and used some copier paper to just colour some paper. Can you see all that texture I've got in there that I wouldn't have got if I'd painted it or um, added it to my page in another way? And I can take another colour and I'm I'm using Paper Arts's chalk finish paints but any acrylic paint, in fact there's lots of things you can do with your jelly plate and tons of videos out there. And I'm rolling my sprayer off the camera onto a piece of paper just to get rid of the paint. Now I can put something on to make a pattern. This is that plastic embroidery type thing you find in the embroidery section. So what I do there is I've got paint on there now, so I'm going to press that down on the piece of paper I had before, which will give me a bit of a pattern, like that, or, well, as well as, I can take another piece of paper and I'll get a different effect on there. I 
I don't need expensive stencils, although I do have a fair collection of those as well, because I just love them and use them a lot. Oh, that needs shaking up. And you don't have to cover your whole piece of the, or your whole jelly plate either. You can just add patches of it. I'm going to use a bit of um, sequin waste. That will give me some circles. If I press that over the top, I'll get pink circles. And I also get the leftover thing there. Just put it over on the piece of paper I've been wiping off my sprayer with. I'll get another pattern. I'll often add some white, which I just had to reach over for, to give a bit of lift. Just spray that out. And this time I'm going to use a dotty stencil. When I do that, can you see the white spots that come out? I can put them down on my piece of paper. Sorry, some of this is off camera, but my tripod had to be a bit lower today, so you can't see so much. Take that off. I've got paint on there, which I will press down on my paper. And then I've still got paint on that jelly plate. So that's what I've just printed off. And we'll put that on top of here. So not the best how-to video, but <laughs> trying to just give you a taster of what I do. And as I say, there's plenty of videos out there to see. But what I'm effectively producing is some coloured paper. And what I'll also do is do that on deli paper or tissue paper, which is very light. Um, and then I'll tear that and put that in my Bible and that, that's a really lovely effect. I use this technique in my diary as well and I also have a kind of cut and stick book that I love to cut and stick in. So over the summer I made myself just gathered a load of little tiny bits and pieces into a pencil case um, that I carry around with some pencil crayons, a glue stick and some scissors. And that means that I can do this anywhere really. Um, and as I'm adding on those those little bits to colour and decorate my page, I'm reading my, my verses again. So I tend to start with this bottom corner just because I like to give it a bit of a theme. And I often tear paper to get a nice effect. as simple as cutting out bits and pieces and layering them together. Just whatever my eye is drawn to at the time. Now, it's usually stars. I love stars. I've got quite a collection of star punches of various sizes. So I don't like how October is peeping out of there. So. Here's a star taken from, I've just punched out the inside of an envelope. Another tiny, tiny little star punch as well. So it can go. Just give it a bit of. There we go. Um, quite like a bit of sparkle there. I've got some sparkly tape. Um, I keep my eye out for this all over the place and it's getting more and more common in um, in shops, paper chase, sell it, hobby craft, places like that. Let's put some little bits down the side. So we're very much about just tearing smidges 
Let's find a better blue. Coordinate. You see how tiny that is. I'm just going to put it on there. star on there because you can never have too many stars. This looks so vanished. I don't know where that one went. No, it's still on the glue stick. <laughs> Try another one. a little bit that references um there's one loving friend who's joined to your heart closer than any other so sometimes where there is something like that i will um i'll usually put a heart basically when i see the words heart or love where there's something about joy there's often something sparkly but i don't particularly draw things that go because I've just it wouldn't happen and for me I have to make sure that what I'm committing to is small enough to fit in my day to make it happen regularly I'm going to put a little bit of music there and pretty soon yes and there's jelly printed piece of paper from previous play times. Cut out a heart. I like a thin wonky heart. Yeah. Can go in there. And that's how I am currently journaling at the moment. I'm rather liking um, pencil marks too, so I might just go around that heart. Do a bit of doodling on here. So I hope you found that useful and interesting, and I will see you sometime soon.